Si John. Ah, sige, go. Ano ba yun? Yung kay Renz, sabi niya, uh, tanong niya is, paano kapag yung professor, yung professor mo is, galing, pag galing daw sa cybersec, pero more on sabi lang mo, pero walang demo. Ah, drawing siya ka. Drawing siya ka. Why? Cybersec, it requires a demo. Demonstration. Kung paano mo siya ginagawa. Sige, simple. Ito ah. Next example. Nagturo, nagturo, for example, kami ni Kuya Dev, nagtuturo kami ng uh, tech, technology stuff sa inyo. Basically, tech chore. Ganyan. Walang hands. They, uh, matas, I believe, have, uh, higher chances na wala kayong matutitira. Like, zero. Kasi hindi nyo alam eh, kung paano yung concept na, paano gagawin, or what na. As a total, you, you have no idea how to do this stuff. But if you have, uh, if your prof do, does the hands-on thing, matas ang chances na magbibigay siya sa inyo ng exercises plus may matututunan kayo. Ang maganda sa hands-on exercises is this. In cybersecurity, walang tama, walang tama ang mali sa ginagawa mo. It's on your, you have your own choice on how to solve uh, threat issues, right? Paano pag nagkaroon ng ganda ganitong threat, ano gagawin? Pero syempre, dapat yung basic, basic mitigations, alam mo. Pero yung, yung additional stuff na tingin mo, pag in-apply mo to, ma- kaya niya ma-optimize, or, I would say, na kaya niya, i-boost yung, what, I don't know, this, kaya niya, pag, pabilis eh, yung mitigation process ng malware malware threats. I don't think that, I don't, I think that will be also be. Kasi ang, ano mo na, ang end of the day, sa cybersec, kailangan palawa ka mag-isip. Hindi ka lagi mag, lagi ka mag-iisip, mag-take out, outside the box. Yan yung best, yan yung, yan yung masasabi ko na best weapons ng cybersecurity you can think outside of the box you can create you can create something by imagining things even power plant yeah definitely even factories factories uh power plants uh weather stations anything like that may mga cyber security and uh, related policies and or measures na naka, ano, naka-place bawat ang uh, establishments. Depends on paano, ano yung nature. So, ganun din sa school. So, dapat, dapat, hindi uh, ka lang lagi naka-box sa yung turo ng prof. Mag-ano ka, branch out ka. Piliin mo kung ano yung applicable sa'yo. Yun yung best, best value. Pag nag-aaral ka ng cybersec, ano ba yung applicable sa'yo na kaya? Kung gusto mo mag-try, experiment. Pag hindi, Go to other, next ka lang. Until sa time na may makakalap ka ng things na uh, network out sa, sa sa'yo. Sa sa'yo. Kasi ganito yan. May mga times, mag-work sa side mo, yung, yung, sa, yung solutions mo, yung threat uh, applications mo. Pero sa iba, hindi. So that depends yan. So that depends yan sa so, kung case uh, case to case basis. So pag ganon, pero ka ng base, base solution, so, i-re-re- parang pwede mo i-reuse, parang kang nagpa-programming nito eh, sa cybersecurity. Kung meron kang reusable na, kumuha ka ng reusable na program, tapos, yung, pro- yung reusable program yun, pwede ko siya i-distribute kahit saan. Mag-tweak lang ako ng ganun. Same din ng cybersecurity. So, kung ano man yung mga bodies, meron ako base bodies eh, or base uh, mitigation steps. Pag may nakita ko na steps na unique siya dito sa isa, Uh, unique siya dito sa isa, sa ganit, ganit rin, sa isa, ganit, 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 ganit. So, doon ako mag-change. Na ganun. Ganun lang siya. Basta, every day, basics muna, then, saka ka mag-branch out into some, to different, some, different solution, different things. Kapag feeling mo, or, you feel na, uh, you can do it na. Freely. At mag-aral kayo bukutin. True. Totoo yan. Joff. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me.
question ni Luigi yun. Medyo related din sila naging tanong kanina. Para sa wala pa work experience on tech, pero may eduk background on IT and cybersec, tama ba na IT generalist or IT support lang muna pasukin before cybersec jobs or pwede na diretso cybersec jobs na agad? IT support ka muna for the meantime. For the meantime lang, for the meantime. Para ma-establish din yung uh, experience mo sa pakikipagpasok sa tao at saka how to pa-experts ka sa hardware sa yeah. Siguro IT support ka muna and then pag feeling mo gusto mo na mag-shift ng career, go on. Baka na cyber sa iba. Yeah. Tanong ni Jensen, CCNA Security Certificate is magandang certification ba? I didn't take CCNA, pero I would say yes. Basta, ito ah, for me, ito ah, guys ah. Whatever certifications that you're going to take, if there's no there's no such thing as maganda pa to or hindi. <laughs> Isa side ko ah. Isa side ko. Para sa akin, as long as yung certification na pinapatake sa akin, pag gagamit ko siya, then it's good. Kung hindi, then I would rather not take that certificate. Because uh, I don't like that kind of mindset na maghahagod ako ng certificate just because may pasapin na okay, certificate na. But yeah. Pasensya na kayo ha. Palulit, palulit ulit kami dun ha. <laughs> Kasi nga, may kailangan tayong baguhin sa ano natin eh. Sa approach natin sa certificates eh. Kasi, you know, na medyo uso yan eh. Uso at uh, medyo It's like ano eh, medyo trivial-ish uh, kung certificate man kasi talaga. Um, may nabanggit dito si ano eh. Uh, actually. Actually may nabanggit si Jeff eh. I think. May nabanggit siya dito kanina eh. Good. Interesting kasi yun eh. Actually maganda yung sinabi niya doon eh. Pero yeah. I think it's a pain of pass na yun. <laughs> Uh, how about portfolio? Possible ba makapag-build ng portfolio sa CyberSec? Or talagang skills-based siya? After case-to-case. Uh, case-to-case basis siya. So, depends on the uh, employer. Kasi pwede mo kasi sabihin sa employer. Eh. Yeah, pwede mo kasi explain sa kaksim. Sa bagong papasokan mo kung ano yung ginawa mo on that period. Mm-hmm. Para malaman nila. But, Actually, good good point yung sinabi ni Joff. Paano yun? Dilista mo yung mga hinak mo. Yeah, ano uh, yun? Parang, paano ba? Weird. That's weird, man. Uh, pero, what if, di ba? Baka, baka, baka may way to, ano, to, to do that. Why not? Yeah, pero, I, kung may mga hinak ka ba na sides, I wouldn't recommend, <laughs> hindi ko i-recommend na sabihin mo yun. Unless yeah. na tinanong siya na, tinanong ka ng interviewer pa. Or maybe, ano, uh, let's go back to bounty hunting, di ba? Parang mag-start ka mm-hmm. ng, tas siguro you solve this problem or something, di ba? Parang, baka pwede yan. Uh, anything more here? May marirecommend po ba kayong website or YouTube channels na pag-aralan for uh, cyber security? Okay. Wala akong marirecommend kasi nag-random nag-random watch ako ng random lang talaga. Random person ako pag nag-anap ako ng tutorials. Actually, you know? Uh, ah! Good question yung kay Asura. Good question to. Pwede mo ba i-disclose yung mga nahanapan mo ng vulnerabilities? Ito sagot. Pag nakabawd ka sa kontrata mo, kahit nakabawd ka sa kontrata mo, hindi. Hindi mo dapat yan din i-disclose. Never disclose those. Unless, otherwise, uh, nangyayari siya sa buong mundo. Consider na siya as CVE. Pero yung uh, vulnerabilities lang sa company, tapos gusto mo i-disclose publicly, pwede kang kasuhan doon. Kahit sabihin mo, unless, uh, kasi kahit sabihin mong wala ka na sa, hindi ka na nag-work doon sa company, yung company na pinagano ng DA sa'yo, 
hindi pa hindi hindi mo dapat siya hindi mo siya hindi mo siya pwedeng idabas as much as possible how about pagka ganto ginawa niya parang gagawa lang siya na no tatago na sa pangalan na ganito <laughs> This happened in this particular company. I will, I will not name. Uh, mm-hmm. Then, ganito yung ginawa ko. Is that an okay practice? Or, hindi pa rin? Mm-hmm. Sa perspective ko kasi, hindi, hindi talaga. Hindi talaga. Hindi mo dapat nilalabas yung vulnerabilities mo in the public, in vulnerability sa company, in the public. Kasi, why? Ito yan. Pag nilabas mo yan, maraming hackers dyan sa tabi-tabi. They can exploit that. They can exploit that vulnerability sa company na yun. At kapag nabagsak ang infrastructure nila, ikaw si CCO. At ayaw natin lahat mangyari yun. Honestly. So, never disclose those in public. Please. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 siguro while well, JD, uh, I think uh ginagawa naman siya ng other tech tech sector uh, like web dev, you know, karamihan. Yung you learn in public. Ito talaga isa sa mga nakikita ko effective na ways na nanahire yung mga tao. Kasi yung, mang, yung, yung ibang mga recruiters na titingin din sa YouTube, sa Twitter ng mga talents eh na you know, hindi hindi mo makukuha in in a traditional sense. So, you know, if you were medyo makapal ka pa lang mukha tulad ko, okay na lang, kinapalan ko lang mukha ko eh. But you know, you could, you know, maybe build a YouTube channel then yung ano yung yung journey mo towards learning cybersecurity do do it there and hope na you know someone would notice or you could use that you know uh, you know uh, a, a certain episode na feeling mo ang ganda na nagawa mo you know to show your your skill to uh, to a, you know to a potential employer Kasi you really True. have to ano, to to uh think of ways na para mapapansin ka eh lalo na sa gantong industry ng cybersecurity na medyo sabi natin sa mga pinakamahirap pasukin sa tech but you know malay mo eh you know you have to you yeah. know, think out of the box you know yeah actually may tanong din si Asura Asura dito if hindi pwede sa public, hindi rin pwede sabihin sa mismo company or individual na nakita mo na vulnerability. Since I assume wala akong permission to test or check for vulnerability. True. Pag hindi ka nakakontract sa kanila, do not disclose. Unless nakakontract ka sa kanila, pwede. Pero kung maglalabas ka ng vulnerability, siguro gawin mo siya as CVE type. Yeah. Oo. Pwede din yung sinabi ni Geoff. Kung, lalo na kung yung vulnerability na nakita is concerning siya. Hindi po mga ka-effect. Uh, may, may malaking effect siya sa assets. Sa assets ng company or organization. Send mo na lang anonyms. Pero yung ikaw, i- 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 broadcast mo yung name mo doon sa public. No. Never do that. <laughs> never do that. Pag i accountable ka, if ever. Kasi ang gagawin mo dyan, ide-defend, magde-defend, magbawa, nakita, may nakita mo na reality. Ide-defend mo yun. Ikaw magde-defend sa kanila, bakit kailangan i-resolve ka? So, aabot pa yan sa paper discussion, panel, or what so, what so, so, what. So, minsan kasi, they, the, uh, some people reject. Kasi, you know, political, politics, com- this one politics in office. Hindi ganyan pa. Hindi ganyan pa. Na factor. Human factor yun sa tawag natin dyan. Uh-oh. Yeah. Eto. Siguro pwede ka rin mag-disclose ng vulnerability kapag uh, yeah, pwede, yung na-resolve, pwede, pwede naman. I think. Pwede. Kasi 
parang good as ano na lang yung document na lang. Tapos, i-blurt out na lang yung company or yung organization na pinagkasan mo. If ever, i-blurt out mo as much as possible. And blurt out your name as well, ah. Blurt out everything. Um, um, yeah, eh. Saan makikita if may nagpa-flood ng wrong URL sa isang website? Kailangan mo na uh, so security platforms na parang akamay. Kasi kasi ang akamay ito nga sabi ko nga, yung web security uh, applications. So sila yung nag-check kung ano yung mga traffic na pumapasok, sino yung pumap- kaninong IP address plus uh, plus ano yung, yung number of requests at saka yung policy nyo. So yun. JC Ledesma, since cloud was mentioned, thoughts on Azure Sentinel? Is it considered as part of CyberSec as well? Consider uh, as search is Azure SC series. Okay. As far as I know, Azure Sentinel is also a CM. So, definitely part siya ng cybersecurity kasi CM siya. Definitely. One of the products yan. But I'm not familiar with on uh Let's call this. Um, okay, uh, okay. So, gani. It's okay. Uh, basically, kasi parang. Teka, wait, wait. Pa- Paulit na nato. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tawala ako. <laughs> Thoughts on Azure Sentinel. Is it considered? Ayun. Si- okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sige. Na- Ayun, nalala ko yun. Si Azure Sentinel kasi, CM siya, as I've said, really. so, definitely CM is a part, so one of the basic tools na dapat ng lahat ng cyber security analysis or so, uh, security operations center, dapat na meron CM, which is yun yung correlation ng events, depends on the platform yung gamit. So, and on terms of uh, deep structure, no, Azure Sentinel, wala akong idea on how that works. Kasi wala, hindi ko pa nahawakan. Honestly. From Spiral Master, gaano po kadalas ginagawa uh, ng mga cybersecurity professionals ang pagre-reverse engineer ng mga software? Na suspected nilang may malware important skills. Then, then po ba na marunong mag-reverse engineer ng mga software? Uh, okay, good question. Basically, Reverse engineering happens kapag mayroong malware na nag-infect dun sa system. Like, Trojan, uh, ransomware, so, uh, worm, kids, blah, blah. So, reverse engineering kasi, kagawin mo dyan, uh, ikaw, ikaw mismo yung mag-e-ed, uh, ikaw yung ipapasahin mo yung program, yung structure ng no, pagkakagawa ng no, malware na yun, through assembly, Code and code, assembly ha. Papasahin ko siya. I think may editor ka gagamitin for that. Tapos, ma- parang mag- may, may modify ka ng something to make sure na yung behavior nung uh, nung reverse engineer mo na malware is gumagana pa. Okay. Si Oracle, Uh, sabi niya, Sir Page, cryptography is part of cybersecurity, right? Definitely, yes. One of the founding, actually, separate topic siya. Pero yes, part siya. Diyan papasok sila RSA, HMAC, AES, and any encryption types. Thank you. Diyan papasok yung concept ng ano, public, uh, public, public, public key, tsaka private key. Diyan pa Tanong ni Raf, okay lang ba Torip Tables? Ano yung Torip Tables? Uh, okay ba sa context ng ano? Torip Tables? <laughs> Raf? Sorry, di namin. Hindi ko, hindi ko, di ako, di ako kami sa Torip Tables. Oh yeah, speaking RSA. RSA, sadly, nakrap siya using quantum computing. So definitely in the future okay. hindi na si RSA kasi siya encryption type type 